So Saitama has frustrated a lot of people, a lot of investors, a lot of people from the outside looking in. There's been a lot of issues with this token, but it wasn't always that way. In fact, I think it's almost like two separate investments. So if you go from November 13th prior of last year, before that event in Vegas, things were a lot different. There was a lot of excitement. There was a lot of hype. I think the biggest thing that Saitama did well was marketing and creating a lot of excitement, a lot of hype in the community to get people to invest and invest and invest. But since that time, there's been a lot of things that have frustrated a lot of people, um, including myself. Um, I'm just hanging in there and hoping for the best. I have not sold a token. That doesn't mean that I made the right decision at the time. I wish I would have known about what was going to happen because I would have liked to take some profits prior to the event in Vegas or during the day of the event in Vegas around 20 to 30%. It didn't work out for me that way. Hindsight is always 20, 20. But the biggest thing with Saitama is two things. I think over promising and under delivering, which many people have said before, I've done well over 90 videos on Saitama and I've talked about that in some of my later videos. That's the one thing. And then the other thing is really trying to focus on making the community and making the space of Saitama attractive to new investors. Those two areas are something that we need to work on as an entire community. So those two things specifically. Now, this is what I think can really, really help Saitama. I think this is the last big thing they can do to save it. It doesn't really involve um, Sata Reality. It doesn't involve Sata Mask. None of those things are as important as what I'm about to talk to you about. But before I do that, guys, go ahead and smash the like button if you are invested in Saitama. Let's jump over to the chart and then we'll get into more about what I'm talking about. So over here on the chart, this is what I pulled up here. This is the one day chart and I wanted to go all the way back and really focus in on what happened in November. So here's November 12th, there's November 13th right there. You can see that we just had this massive run up. There was a lot of hype. There was a lot of YouTubers talking about what was going on. Um, I started my channel uh, towards the end of October of last year. So I wasn't one of the original people talking about Saitama, but I definitely bought into the hype. I was very excited about it. And uh, the, you know, this is what happened. Sata Mask wasn't released. Not everyone was aware going into the meeting that that was going to be the case. And then it was supposed to get released in January and on and on and on. And then the same kind of thing with uh, Sata Reality. But at this point, I think this one key thing can save Saitama. And I don't know if enough people have discussed this or not. I know a lot of people are down on Saitama and they're not really talking as much about it anymore. But I think that there could be a lot of excitement that could be garnered and regained and just really energize everything to do with this token again if they can do this one simple thing. Well, it may not be so simple from a technical standpoint, but the one concept that I would like to see them do is just simply migrate off of this contract, migrate into a version two, a new contract. Because when Saitama first came out, they really were one of the front runners with the concept of reflections, with the tokens you know, you get the 2% reflections. That wasn't really something that was commonplace back then. I don't know if, if Saitama was the first to do it, but what they were the one of the early ones to have a contract with that type of functionality with the reflections. And that was a big thing. That was a big marketing piece at the time. Now, since that time, there's been a lot of tokens that have come out and you've seen them with the taxes and they have marketing wallets. Now, Saitama, their number one issue is the fact that they don't have liquidity for Sata Mask. So Sata Mask, in my opinion, has been slowed down. I think the technology actually could have been pretty good. I think I think the system, or I'm sorry, the wallet itself can function well, but I think what they're actually intentionally perhaps slowing it down because they don't have the money for the liquidity. So all along, what this could be is, you know, Sata Mask might have been ready to a point where it could be functional. And it could be a decent app to use, but without the liquidity, it just doesn't work. So if they migrate to a version two contract, in my opinion, I think this will save this whole project because then they can create a marketing wallet or you can have another wallet called whatever you want to call it, a revenue type of stream wallet, a development wallet, 
something that gives them two, three, four, five percent of every transaction that will they can then take and use that money for liquidity. Comment below and let me know what you think of that. I think this would be really huge. I think it would bring a lot of the excitement back into the community. And I think that it would actually save Saitama in terms of, I'm not saying that Saitama is gonna to go to zero, but right now it's very flat. And I think that this would infuse so much positive energy, switching to a new contract, airdropping the tokens, or making it a way that we can go on to a website and convert to this new contract with our existing tokens. I think this would be a big, big catalyst for Saitama. It would basically fix the problem of not having the marketing dollars, not having the liquidity dollars, the liquidity money that's needed. I think liquidity more so than marketing. Because there's enough people like myself, like I'm not paid by Saitama. There's enough people that will talk about this project because we wanted to do well because like I'm invested in this project. Why would I not want it to do well? So I'm going to talk about it on my channel. But if we could just get to that version two, we could then have a mechanism in place. You call it a marketing wallet, call it a development wallet, whatever you want to call that wallet that's adding a percentage of the transactions, say 5% of all transactions on a daily basis. This would really help. A lot of other tokens have done this. This will give them the liquidity that they need. This will save SATA mask. It'll make it so it's functional. And it'll also allow SATA really to, to finally launch. I think it's supposed to launch on Friday, but you know, I'm not really paying too close attention to that. I'm not concerned with that at this point. I'm just mainly concerned about the main token, Saitama, and I want it to do well because I know there's so many of you out there that are invested in it, including people that are subscribed to my channel. I want everyone to be able to get back into the positive territory. Um, I, fortunately, I'm still in decent shape because I got in pretty early, but you know, overall it's it's been down a lot. So I wanna see everyone do well. I know that a lot of people have lost money. So I'm hoping for everyone out there watching this video that Saitama is able to turn things around and we could finally move forward. So. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Be good to one another. Be kind to each other. Remember, we're all in this together with crypto. Uh, it's not one token versus another token. It's you know crypto against the world, right? We're trying to get the world to adopt crypto. So we're all in this together. We're all one big community, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's out there in the real world. We're all in this together because we want crypto to do well and we want to be able to make money ourselves, for ourselves, our family, etc. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.